Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the San Francisco Giants taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. John Chomby with you alongside Chris Singleton and singing the big bat in the lineup so far this year. Alec Bohm leads the team in OPS, so he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks, he'll barrel up the baseball, he'll hit the ball in the gaps, he'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now, and he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. Well, he brings into this one an excellent strikeout to walk ratio on the season. And when you consider the amount of swings and misses that he gets and the fact that he's not issuing free passes, that's going to make him more economical in his pitch count, allow him to move into the middle and deeper part of ball games. So we'll see if that remains true in this one. On its way to the corner, tracks it down for the out. And there's one down. Here's the Giants lineup. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And a foul ball. Wheeler, in his 11th season, 33 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2009. One out, base is empty. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. Forget it. It's his sixth home run of the season. It's 1-0. The great pitchers are able to tease the outside part of the zone with the breaking ball. That means that it looks like it's going to be a strike, but finishes off the plate. Well, that one finished on the outer half, but caught just too much of the plate and hit for a home run. Base is empty, one away. Wilmer Flores, the next to hit. And that's outside. outside. That's cool. And that's ball one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. One run across in the frame so far, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And he takes a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Punch out there, and there's two down. That is cool. The batter will be Michael Conforto. Michael Conforto. Bottom hey. of the zone and a called strike. Two out spaces empty. Pitch That's misses the there. Now one and two. One ball, two strikes. Two outs. Ball Just three. outside. And the count is two, two and two. Yeah. It's a good take. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. 
Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. Patrick Bailey, the next giant to hit. Fastball for a strike. It's 0 1. 0 1. That one missed. Swing and a base hit. Around third. Here's the throw to the plate. He's safe. Comes through with the RBI. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And here is Matt Chapman. Eight. Swings through that one for strike one. All one's the count. The old one. Ball oh, one there. Five. One-one. Chapman gets a piece there. And he deals. Spoils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Bailey, the runner at first with two gone. Next one misses. Two balls, two strikes. Two balls, two really strikes. good take, especially with two strikes. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Could be extra bases. Bailey, round second on his way to third. Coming home. He'll score easily, and they're up by three. Well done. Drives in the run. Everything was mechanically sound with that swing right there. I mean, that's pretty much what you're wanting to replicate with every rep you take. You want good balance, barrel directly to the baseball, and good long extension after contact out in front of home plate. Man, there are a lot of doubles in a swing like that. Man in scoring position with two away. Tyro Estrada to the plate. Ball. And ball one. Counts one and oh. So two balls and no strikes. I think it's very important to establish the inside part of the plate early. It sets the tone for the rest of the game. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that one fouled off. Man at second. And there's a strike in the outside corner. And here it comes. Three. And a swing and a miss. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. Three runs for them here, and they move ahead. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Giants three, and the Phillies nothing. here with my pal Singy and now here's the starter for San Francisco Kyle Harrison and Singy we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots 
I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Ball to strike. Fouled off. He was late. The one two. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Got him looking, and that's the first out. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up, and it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in, so you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball, but either way, that's a really nice pick. There's the strike. That catches the zone for a strike. One and two. On the ground to third. Turner is out. And time now for the Phillies lineup. And an important bat for them, batting fifth in this one. JT Real Muto. And Boog, he's a fun at bat to watch. I mean, definitely a threat whenever he's got that bat in his hands. But for me, it's, it's all about the mechanics. They're so sound. And when he gets his foot down on time and starts his swing, so much consistency, that bat stays in the zone for a long time. He scores up the baseball a lot. And that one finds its way through. So he gets on base and keeps it going. Waste no time there. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. And now it's Alec Bohm. And that one clips the corner. And the lefty with the 0-1. And that one fouled off. Here's the 0-2. Stays alive. And now the lefty keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And the pitch. That one to first. It's in and out of his glove. But he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. Philly strand one. They trail it here. Three nothing. All set for the start of the inning. And digging in for San Francisco. Mike Yastrzemski. Yastrzemski. Mike Yastrzemski originally drafted by the Orioles 14th round out of Vanderbilt in 2013 the Giants got him in March of 2019 and San Francisco's really where he got a shot to play saying he wasn't very sharp in the first got hit around a little bit just wasn't able to locate particularly well a lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate yeah Boogie wasn't fooling anyone it's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made sometimes it's location sometimes it's being too predictable sometimes you're tipping your pitches he's going to need to figure it out quickly though and that one is lifted in the air that gets down for a hit so a runner aboard to start the inning the shortstop. Nick Ahmed here to hit. Ahmed. Ahmed. 
Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. And it drops in. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat. Just kind of muscled it out there. And you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher. But you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. Austin Slater stands in. He's 0 for 1. Swing it a foul straight back. First and second, no outs. Here at the top of the second. Up the middle, and that one finds its way through. The throw in. It's off the mark, and he scores. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Jorge Soler, the next giant to hit. He's already homered here in this one. And a base hit up the middle. Ahmed headed for the plate. The throw in. But it's offline. Picks himself up in RBI. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there was just no one there to knock it down. Christopher Sanchez on a pitch out of the pen here. This southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters. And now it's Wilmer Flores. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And there's a ball. Counts one and oh. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Action in the pen down there. Jeff Hoffman up and throwing. The pitch. Fought off foul. Slater, the runner at third. Solaire on at first with nobody out. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Here's a one two. Got him. And now one away. Michael Conforto will climb in. Doubled in his first AB. That one fouled off. Still only one out here in the inning. That one finds the zone. 0-2. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. You can either strike this guy out or get ground ball double play. Two on, one out. That one lifted to left. As this one sized up, he makes the grab. Runner tags for home. That's a sacrifice fly as he comes across. It's six nothing. Well, oh, that's the third run of the inning, and this team is doing a nice job of executing at the plate right now. And up next for the Giants, Patrick Bailey, one for one with a single and a run scored so far. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Kicks and fires. Chopped out towards short. Zips it to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Three runs on four hits, no errors, and one left on. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Giants six, and the Phillies nothing.
bottom of the second. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. And a pitch. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. And misses inside. Dave Lawrence behind the plate today. Consistent and pretty accurate with the balls and strikes. Yeah, he's one of those guys, Spook, that just keeps the game moving. Nothing overly unique about the strike zone that he calls, and as a result, he's appreciated by both sides. And one and two. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. This one in the air. Chapman should have this one. And out number one on the grab. That was a good, hard that fastball good. with some nice right ride field. up in the zone Thank right you. there. Hitter looked Tough like he was on it, off. but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Nick Castellanos stands in now and watches All strike one. one. Ground ball right side. On to first. Two up, two down. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got Not out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat there. it into the ground. Two outs, base is empty. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Whit Merrifield. Fly ball down the line. Yastrzemski sizes this one up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that will end the inning. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. New inning getting started. Here's Matt Chapman. As the lefty gets to work. And takes low for ball one. All these Giants doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. And here's a stat for you, Boog. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. Ground ball, left side. Sends it across to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Now back second base, Tyro Estrada. Now it's the second baseman, Tyro Estrada. Swings through that one. And you know, that strikeout total, only two so far, really tells you they're not just running into good luck and getting hits to fall. They're earning those knocks. Line drive, and there's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. The right the five, Mike, Mike Yastrzemski up here. And it's fouled away. Step off, throw to first. No, Back standing. He's in there safely. The 0 1. That's and downstairs. Lined into right. Castellanos snags it. Now batting. Shortstop. Nick Ahmed. Man at first. Nick Ahmed now at the plate. Singled and scored his first time.
That one misses oh. the zone, and it's one to no. That's a little bit low. The Giants up big in this one. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Now snap throw to first. Estrada back in on a dive. Two outs. That one's spoiled and the count now two and one. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Swing and a miss struck him out. So the Giants leave one, but they're on top by a count of six to nothing. Bottom of the inning, and here is Sosa to the plate. The shortstop. Harrison back to work. High fly ball out to center field. Solaire balls it in, and there's one away. Batting nut, the center fielder. Here's Christian Pache. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Base is empty one away here in the last half of the third. One down, base is empty. On the ground, right side. Sends it to Flores. Two away. Now batter, the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And first offering is fouled off. In there at the knees for a strike. No ball, two strikes. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Phillies down in order. They still find themselves down. Six zip. here in Philadelphia start of the fourth and now the DH Austin Slater Slater the pitch and a pitch on the ground to short finds its way through base hit man aboard on the leadoff single Couple of hits in a row for him here. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. And up next for San Francisco, Jorge Soler. That's hard hit in the line. Puts it away for the out. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Man at first. And here's the first baseman, Wilmer Flores. Down the line. And no one could get to it. It's a foul ball. And it goes just foul. Oh. 
swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days, but when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. On the ground, out to short. Over to first, out. third out. One left for San Francisco. They lead it, though, 6 zip. And we're back, Leading bottom off. four, and Billy. now Trey Turner. The why to kick the pitch. The wind of the pitch. That one clips the outside corner. Now one and two. That one ran inside, almost got him. The pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. And that one hammered. That's back there. And forget it. Trey Turner goes deep. And they cut into the lead. It's 6-1. He wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this. At bat was very patient, and it paid off. Here's Bryce Harper. First pitch misses. Nobody on, nobody out. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. And that is cut on and missed. And the count one and one. This one smoked on its way out of here. A gigantic blast. His seventh home run of the season. And they're chipping away. It's 6-2. That one just sounded different. Man, it might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. I'm excited to see that one again, but with the stack cast data, because that was a bomb. Oh, says he drove it out of here at 115 miles an hour. I think I heard the ball screaming on its way out. And that's some serious exit velo. Pretty elite. And he caught it just right to get it up in the air as well. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Alec Bohm. That ball one, one not no close. Break. Ball one. Here comes a pitch. Swings through that one out in front that time. Two strikes. That one just misses, and it's two and two. And he chases that one. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Well, he just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Real Muto batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Hey. 
0 2 count, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is One a ball, good time for something strikes. off speed away. One down, base is empty. And that one almost got him. The pitch. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. It's 6 3. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. You saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Kyle Harrison out of the game, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. Number 74 taking over on the mound. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Grounded out his first time. And that's outside. Yeah, the right-hander deals. And it stays fair. And that rolls into the corner. Around first, heading for two. Yastrzemski hustles it back in. And they hold him at second. Maybe this is going to be the moment they start the comeback. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Now let's see if they can string something together, make it a little more interesting. Whit Merrifield up to the plate. And there's the strike. Castellanos, the runner at second with one away. Hey. Pitch in for a strike. And a count is 0-2. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Camilo Doval getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Man at second. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. All sliders right there for the three-pitch punch out. Got ahead of him with the first two, both in the zone. Then he does a great job to make him chase the 0-2 pitch. Expand that zone. That's what they always talk about with two strikes. That right there is good pitching, and he didn't have to show him anything else. And digging in for Philadelphia, Edmundo Sosa. In for a strike. 0 and 1. Two outs and one in scoring position. One ball, one strike. In the dirt. Tag C. He's in the third of the wild pitch. 
even with a good secondary lead, sometimes it's hard to see just how far that ball's gotten away from the catcher. And if you can make it to third base pretty much standing up, well, that time he seemed to have a pretty good read, gets to third safely, and now he's just 90 feet away from scoring. Righty delivers. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Kicks and deals. In the air, right field. Makes the play, and it's out number three. <laughs> We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Sir Anthony Dominguez. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Now it's the Giants Lee catcher, Johnson. Patrick Bailey. Catcher one for two. 14. He had an RBI base Patrick hit back in the first. Bailey. And a pitch. Check swing, tried to hold up. Now an appeal to third. And that's a swing, according to umpire Matthew Ross. Here's your one. And that's in for a strike. Just off the outside edge. Gonna count one and two. Right-handed reliever. Foul ball still a one and two count. At the belt and fires. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. That's ripped to right down the line. Fair ball. Now he'll turn for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now there are several ways that they can get this run across. Now it's Matt Chapman, one for two with an RBI double back in the first. Right through there for a strike. And he'll one. And that one is inside ball one. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Bird gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on it. Man at second. Out to short, Sosa. And Estrada is out. The right fielder, number five, Mike Yastrzemski. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. One for two. Inside, ball one. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. 
at that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. The pitch. That's, that's off the two. mark. And that's ball two. Two and oh. Runner at second, two down. And we're at the top of the fifth. And he hits a ground ball right side. Throws to first. And that is that. So the Giants leave one. But they still lead it 6-3. We're back. And on the mound is the closer, Camilo Doval. Save opportunity for him right here. And he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. Christian Pache digs in now. Grounded out his first time up. And here it comes. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. Just missed. That one out to right. And that's a fair ball. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. So the batting order turns over, and here is Kyle Schwarber. Inside corner, that's a strike. Going one. Pache aboard here at first with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Down on strikes he goes, and now just two outs away. Well, big power guy right there, and generating so much bat speed, it's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Turner now in the box. Comes up oh, empty with a swing there. Righty to the plate. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Right hander kicks deals. Three. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeout. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. He swings and fouls one off. Left hand hitter waits. Oh, one. One oh. The Giants trying to close out a three run lead. Last half of inning number five. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Doval is just one strike away. Gets a piece and stays alive. That one the other way, and it stays fair. Pache around second, headed for third. Coming home. The relay, the tag, and he's safe. 
and his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Alec Bohm getting ready to hit. That's through there for a strike. Tying run at the plate. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Swing and a miss struck him out. And the crowd goes on disappointed as this one draws to a close. Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family, but when you can win, silence that opposing crowd. It makes things just a little bit better. Makes the road trip just a little bit shorter. And this one ends with a final score of 6-4 to four. for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.